What's up everyone? Welcome back. Patrick here moving on to another word problem on the test. So let's say a car was bought new for $25,950. Each year the car depreciates by 15%. Write an equation to model the value of the car and find its value after 84 months. By how much did it depreciate in the fifth year? Okay, so let's show this on a timeline. So we're buying the car, let's say now, for $25,950. And then each year, it's basically depreciating by 15%. So let's say this is a T value of zero, T value of one. So let's say T is the number of years after purchase. So every year it's just going down by 15%. So if we were to make an equation for this, we know what final amount is the initial amount, one plus R to the power of T. Well, the initial amount is what? 25,950. And the car is depreciating by 15%. So this here, this bracket, this one plus R, it would be one plus negative 0 0.15, right? Because it's depreciating. Any depreciation, any sort of DK questions, you know that this is gonna be a negative. So one plus minus 0.15, it's like one minus 0.15, so that gives us 0 0.85 in bracket. So this would end up being 0 0.85 to the power of t, where t is the number of years after purchase. Right, so that there is our um, function. Let's call it uh, the value of the car given the number of years after it was purchased. Right, so that's the first part of the question. Second part, find its value after 84 months. Now, problem here is that our T value is in years, but they're asking for the value after months. So we have to convert those months to years. So basically what we gotta do is we have to take 84 months. How many months are in a year? 12. So that gives us seven. So 84 months, seven years, those are the same thing. So they're asking for the value of the car after seven years. So we would just plug in seven for this T value here, right? So we're gonna be finding the value of the car after seven years. So that would be 25,950, 0 0.85, and this would be to the power of seven. And when you do that in your calculator, you end up getting $8,318.98. Right, so that there is the value of the car after 84 months or after seven years. So I'm actually gonna write that over here just to give myself more room for the next part of the question. Okay, next part of the question is asking how much, by how much did the car depreciate in the fifth year? If you remember from the previous word problem, this is not asking for the value of the car at the fifth year. They're asking how much did it depreciate in the fifth year. So if we draw a timeline here, one, two, three, let's draw another one here. So let's say this is when we purchase the car. So this is a T value of zero. So we purchase it for 25,950 and then it is depreciating by 15% every year. So this is a T value of two, T value of three, T value of four, T value of five. So they're asking how much did it depreciate in the fifth year? Well, this here is the first year, right? This period of time. This is the second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year, right? So they're asking how much did the car depreciate in this year? So they're basically asking for the difference of the, the difference in the value of the car at the fifth year 
from the fourth gear, right? Because this value, because the car is depreciating, this value here is going to be less than this one. Right, so the difference in those, it's gonna go down in value, so the difference in those is gonna be the depreciation. So basically, the depreciation in the fifth year is equal to the value of the car in the fifth year minus the value of the car at the fourth year. Right, that's gonna give us this difference here. So we would just plug in uh, via five, we would just plug in five for T here. So we'd have 25,950, 0 0.85 to the power of five, right? This whole expression represents via five. Then we're gonna be subtracting 25,950, 0 0.85 to the power of four. Right, and that whole expression there represents a V of four. And then the difference between those is gonna be the depreciation in that fifth year. And when you do that in your calculator, you end up getting this amount, negative $2,031.91. So that's how much the car depreciated in the fifth year. All right, so just be careful again with these types of questions where they're either asking you for the value of the car at a specific point in time, Right, so like the first part where they were asking for the value of the car after 84 months or after seven years, we just plug in seven there. Or if they're asking for the change in value of the car between a certain time period, then you gotta take the difference between the endpoints. And that gives you the change of the value of the car within that time frame.